Can you imagine how Nancy Kovac went from the ordinary girl next door to an international star from only appearing in one movie? She instantly became a star. However, her personal life was far from perfect. From miscarriages to both of her husbands suddenly passing away, continue watching to find out the truth behind Kovac's mysterious life. She was raised in the same town with famous actor Michael Moore. Nancy Kovac was originally born as Nancy Flint on March 11, 1935, in a small town in Michigan. Interestingly enough, it is the same Flint, Michigan that was brought up by famous actor Michael Moore in many of his film documentaries. Now, the reason why Moore frequently brought up Kovac's original last name was that both of them were raised relatively close together. Nancy Kovac was highly intelligent, and unlike most girls her age, she entered the University of Michigan when she was just 15 years old. The soon-to-be actress eventually graduated from the university when she was 19, and went on to become a model contestant and a radio DJ. By the age of 20, she entered a few beauty contests and even managed to win eight of them. She got introduced to acting in a wedding. In the late 50s, Nancy had been invited to a wedding in New York City. During the event, she caught the eye of a few producers that worked for the Jackie Gleason show. She was then offered to audition for the chance to become a glee girl and ended up winning the position. This was Nancy's first step to becoming a professional actress. She eventually made her way up by switching shows. Nancy moved from The Jackie Gleason Show to The Today Show, The Dave Carraway Show, and Beat the Clock. After a couple of more appearances on stage, Nancy finally managed to sign her first contract with Columbia in 1959. In the same year, she made her first TV debut in a program called the United States Steel Hour. Throughout 1959, Nancy didn't appear in movies and would mainly take up roles in popular programs and live shows. It wasn't until 1960 when she proved her talent in acting by appearing in a Kirk Douglas melodrama called Strangers When We Meet, where she was given the role of an alcohol-loving woman. Nancy eventually became the key cult actress of the 60s. Her most dominant feature was her tall and slender figure. Unlike most actresses, she reached a height of 5 feet 8 inches and weight of roughly 110 pounds. This tall and slender figure made her look good on camera whenever she had to appear in scenes alongside male actors. The moment she became internationally famous was when she appeared in the popular action fantasy film Jason and the Argonauts in the role of Medea. Oddly, looking back at the film, Nancy has less screen time than most viewers remember. However, everyone cannot forget her mesmerizing dance, which can top it off as a true highlight in the film. Her luring dance was competing for the attention that viewers had with the animated creatures and monsters, which were created by the unforgettable Ray Harryhausen. Even though Nancy had great dancing and acting skills, her singing voice was nowhere near perfect. It has been reported that Honor Blackman, which at that time was weeks away from being known as the iconic Bond girl, overdubbed Nancy's voice. Now, this overdub was never confirmed if it happened or not. However, many do believe that the producers wanted to add more of a classier British accent to the part. Her life in the film industry. The rest of Nancy Kovac's experience in the movie industry was a mixture of TV credits and films. In 1962, she won the opportunity to become the lead actress in the film The Wild Westerners, where she acted opposite James Philbrook. Around the same period, Nancy also appeared on the popular game show called Number Please as the primary prize girl. She reached the peak of her career in 1963 as she took part in two TV projects that would give her all the fame and fortune she ever dreamed of. The first one of these projects was when she co-starred in a Vincent Price horror thriller called Diary of a Madman. In the film, she played the crazy Odette Malat Duclas. However, Nancy was facing a big problem. Although she was at the peak of her career, her young image was slowly fading away. Now, this bothered her a lot, but she didn't hesitate to have full confidence even though her role in the movie was considered just as a third-rate attempt to cash in on the Edgar Allan Poe series. Her Victorian-style dresses suited her great in the film, and there was no need to talk about her bust. Now, we already mentioned her second movie hit, which was Jason and the Argonauts. For the movie, Nancy needed to travel on the other side of the world as the film needed to be shot in Italy. The creators and producers of the movie 
were determined to make the ending product as amazing as they could. Because of this, the movie took around two years to complete. The main reason why it took that long was because of all the special effects that needed to be added. But sadly, the cast and crew of the film did not get the popularity they had originally aimed for. This was mostly because the Hercules series was being released during that period and had caught the attention of viewers. This left everyone that participated in creating the movie devastated, especially Ray Harryhausen, who worked so hard in animating the characters. Luckily, viewers would not forget this movie forever. As years passed, people started appreciating it as a classic nostalgic film. Nancy Kovacs' physique left everyone that saw the movie astonished while she acted as the high priestess, Medea. Surprisingly, Nancy would become uncomfortable talking about her experience in the movie in interviews. This might have been triggered by many reasons. Most people believe that she became ashamed of the luring dance that she performed, or maybe she became fed up with reporters and interviewers sexualizing her image more than she wanted to. A tribute to this great actress. Despite anything she did, Nancy Kovac remained a star on the big screens and small screens. Some believe that it was her smoldering gaze and unbelievable cheekbones that mesmerized people to do things her way. Throughout her whole career, she didn't mind rubbing shoulders with other iconic male actors such as Elvis Presley, Dean Martin, Vincent Price, and more. Strangely, the star confessed that she never liked becoming a famous movie actress and always preferred to act small and supporting roles. But her 15-year-long career speaks otherwise. So what do you think was so charming about Nancy Kovac? Was it just her fabulous figure or her solid determination to become an actress? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next one in the series for more.